So I've just started stapling 5 cm from the end of the board and 3 cm from the edge and I'm leaving around 1 cm in between the staples. So I'm just pulling the fabric a little bit so it'll look like the foam has rounded edges. When you're stapling the fabric onto the corners of the lid, remember to leave at least a centimeter from the edge. That way, when you're putting the backboard on, it will cover all the staples. So now to finish off our lid, we're going to put our backboard on. And what that's going to do is just cover the ends of the fabric and the staples. To put our backboard on, we're just going to need our drill, screw bit, drill bit and our panhead screws. And then we can go on to paint our backboard with our primer and the colour that we've chosen. So we'll just go on and put our backboard on and then we can go on to paint it. The backboard that I mentioned should be at least 24mm less than the length and the width of the box. So when you do close the lid, the backboard will fit snugly within the box.
Now what I'm doing is measuring 12 millimeters from each edge of the box. That way I can put the backboard in the center of the lid and that way it will fit within the box. So I've just screwed three pan head screws along each side of the backboard. So I've just put masking tape onto the fabric on the edge of the lid. So now that we've finished painting our box and our backboard with our primer, we can go on and paint with our coloured paint. We'll need to do three coats on the box and on the backboard, giving it an hour or so to dry in between coats. Then once we finish painting, we can put our lid and our box together to create our children's storage seat. So now we can just go on and paint our box with our first coat of coloured paint.